Hello and welcome to a video dedicated to junk bots. What is junk bots? Well, we'll take a look at a sec in a second. But first off, these are by the Hexbug people. Now, admittedly, I appreciate this is aimed for small children, so why am I opening it up? Well, I thought they looked kind of cool, and I happened to see it mentioned on a toy forum that people are getting into it, so I was like, well, I might as well take the dive and try it out. So in front of us today, I have the four-pack uh, garbage disposal thing full of junk bots, which comes with four bots, one energy module, and one motion module. Now, those of you with a keen ear may have just heard, when I put this to the uh, table, it makes an engine noise. Um, so this just arrived in the mail, and already I'm cracking it open because, unfortunately, the NG module, um, sorry, the motion module inside seems to have set off, and I don't really want to run the battery low. So, um, as you see, you can unlock it, search it, and then you build. So on the side, we have an example of just one of the um, many junk bots, and this is, as you can see, sorry, I left that focus, that is Jack Static. And um, basically, the whole reason I went for it is it's, it's kind of like slightly cheesy robot kind of things made out of junk. Um, and I really like that, and the fact that you can take them apart and customise them. So we'll take a look at the back, there are 36 junk bots to collect. Um, so I'm probably not going to go collect loads of these, but I fancy buying a pack of them anyway to try them out. And over there, it kind of just says, unlock the chain, search through the trash, discover and build your bot. So this is a mystery pack. Now, I have read online, uh, on the forum I mentioned, actually, that these do seem to kind of be seeded, as in, um, while it is kind of random, I think you get a set... Oh, wow, that motor's really loud now. Um, you do kind of get a set amount of characters, so there'll always be the same four in a pack, if that makes sense. Um, anyway, so I'm going to go rip off the plastic on top of this, and then we'll unlock the chain and take a look. Alright, I'm back and I've taken off that thing, so I'm going to go take off this chain. Okay, I've done it. It's kind of weird. The chain is kind of rubber, and you just have to um, pull it off this peg thing. But yeah, I'll keep that to the side. Um, I may put this with some other figures or something for scale. Uh, we've had a look, obviously, around... Ah, there we are, that's the top. It's just a pile of junk, basically. And inside... Oh, wow! Inside, it looks like a junk heap. That's really interesting. Okay, so we've got these bags. Uh, there's nothing... Oh, wait, no, there are stuff in them. Okay, the small pieces, very cool. So that's a trash bag. That is a trash bag. That's a small bit of paper. Does this... Uh... Ooh, okay, so one of them is Flapjack, presume. Ah! And that's cool. So this is like a character sheet to know what to look out for wherever. So he seems like a ruler kind of person. Yes, I can hear that engine going off in the background now. Uh, two more... No, three more bags. Uh, kind of stuck to each other. I, I do kind of like this, to be honest. I'm liking the... Um, the commitment to, like, the... Uh, you know, everything being trash. Oh, next one... Is buzzard. He's really cool. Really like that. Uh, oh, oh, the light unit is on as well. By the looks of it. Uh, no, okay. We we got a key tar. Not sure who'd throw a key tar out, but okay. We've got a box of Papa Chow. Very nice. A box of ostrich eggs. <laughs> Interesting. Um, we've got got a box of tissues. Uh, don't, I, if you do see a box of tissues in the garbage, please don't pick it up. Um, oh, okay, so this is definitely the torso for, man, that's pretty big, actually. That's bigger than I thought it would be. Um, right, let's see if I can grab the energy thing. No, okay, we've got a wheel, we've got a foot, maybe, I think. Uh, I am just blindly reaching in here. Oh, oh, man, oh, that's a, that's a full one. That's a hefty bag there. Uh, oh, we got some more paper. Who's it going to be? Gus! <laughs> Very nice. I re Man, I really like that design. So I'll, I'll take an actual look at um, all of these things more in depth in a minute. But 
we've got uh, lots of different things. I will be working these out, uh, out off camera. Oh, yo! So I saw this. This uh, was one of the things that really got me interested in it, actually. I saw this in, a, in an image. This is the head, or I think, or torso of one of them. Um, presumably that'll be the fourth one. So we've got another tyre. Very nice. Hey, we've got a light source thing. Try to turn that off for a second. That was very easy, actually. It's just the switch on the front. Very nice. Right. Let's try and find this motor, shall we? Hey, there we are. It's a wheel. Oh, hang on. There we go. So that's what's turning. And I think... There we go. Um, yeah, not the best design, to be honest, because both of these things, the motor and the light-up things, were both on in the package. And I don't think stores are going to be very fond of that either, because it just wears out the battery. So when people buy them, they're going to have to replace the batteries. Uh, got another wheel. Oh, a chainsaw. Okay, interesting. Uh, I don't know who'd throw a chainsaw in the garbage, but whatever. Uh, that is looking like a torso again, I think, very much. Oh, maybe it's the... Uh, no, that wouldn't go with that. Okay. Uh, obviously, I, as I said, I'm going to work all these out, uh, out off camera, so don't worry. Uh, we've got fluffy suds, laundry soap stuff. So all of these are cardboard boxes, by the way. We've got another trash bag. Uh, ooh. Okay, cool. We... Damn. Oh, okay, cool. So here's like a massive instruction thing, I think, of how the engines work and stuff, maybe. Again, I'll take a look at this off camera and tell you guys more about it. Uh, oh, and that's stuck to there. We've got another trash bag. Aha! This is our fourth dude. And that is surveillance. Yes. All right, cool. So he's the one I wanted, along with like the steampunk guy, Gus, I think it was. Very nice. Uh, I'll keep these to one side. Got another chainsaw. Very nice. And chainsaw arms coming up, I think. Uh, oh, we've got a don't, do not donut shop. Do not do. Cool. Okay. Interesting. Um, got another. <laughs> cool. Okay. Um. Oh, that moves as well. That's a grandfather. Ah, oh, yo! So maybe if you put the engine there, it'll make the clock tick. I already think I know what I'm going to be using that engine part on then. Oh, we got another torso, which is a mailbox. Very interesting. Cool. Not sure who threw a mailbox in the bin either. It's a little bit weird. Um, oh, we've got... Oh, wow. That's, that is proper crushed, but admittedly it's kind of... Oh, it's picking that up as a face on camera. That's very good. We've got milk. Half milk, actually. Very nice. And um, we got soda pop. Yay! Uh, and then we got, like, smaller bits again. Ooh, translucent wire. Uh, tube kind of thing. Very interesting. We've got th this. Is there a speaker, maybe? We've got a small hammer. Uh, oh, we've got uh, whole milk with chunks. Ooh. Very nice. Uh, definitely going for gross out humour. Aha, we found our fourth wheel. Hey, walkie... T oh, yo. Now walkie-talkie's got some cool details to it as well. Look at that. There's, like, translucent parts. Um, right, and um, I think there's only so many more things. There's a pipe. There is a connector. Oh, a rotor blade. That's for one of them, isn't it? He's got, like, a... My god, there's loads at the bottom. Okay, let's hurry this up. Something just fell. We've got a translucent pipe, a green bit, a uh, an alarm clock head thing. We've got a ray gun looking kind of thing. Very nice. We, hang on, wait. We've got an... Ah, oh, I thought this was a wheel for a second. Ah, oh, nice. That's a head. There we are. That's probably the head of one of them. Another green connector. We've got a orange thing. Very nice. Uh, near the end now we've... Ooh. Is that like a stand, probably? Uh, we've got like a cap kind of thing. Uh, we have yellow pipes. A hat. Yeah, that definitely is a cowboy hat, isn't it? We've got a little arm kind of thing. We've got another end or maybe a wheel. Another one of these. A really tiny stuff. Now we've got like these things. Oh, we've got a uh, rat, which is always 
useful. Uh, we've got a claw, we've got a white thing, we've got another claw, looks like a bone and a silvery piece. And we've got a ton of these things, including a very nice poo. Alright then, so I'm going to go off now and try and assemble all of these. I'll be back in, for you, about 10 seconds. For me, probably about 40 minutes. See you guys then. Alright, I am back after uh, about an hour of assembling everything. These are quite fiddly figures, to be honest. I'll go through that more in a second. But first, we'll take a quick roll call of everyone here that's here. So, first up is Buzzard by here. He um, has sort of the alarm clock head, the post box body, and the propellers there, and also the kind of uh, sheet, which I'll show you in a second, tells you to put the two um, wheels on the legs there and the chainsaw. As far as the arms go, there is kind of a bit of guidance, but to be honest, it doesn't matter as much. But as you can see, I kind of followed that, and he looks pretty much how he should Put him to the side there and we'll get on to the next guy. Next up is Flapjack. Uh, I'll be honest, my least favourite one really. He's sort of... I, I kind of like that he's all beat up and weird looking and stuff, but eh, I don't know, not, not, really, not really my favourite. Now, I appreciate actually the back should have been a different, uh, different connector, not a chainsaw, I don't think, but I use a chainsaw anyway, um, I'll explain why in a second. Got a little golf club as his arm and a chainsaw there. Put his uh, head on a little swivel thing. Now these swivel things are kind of weird as well, because there's lots of small connector pieces. But it's very difficult to tell from the sheets what ones you meant to use. So I just kind of jerry-rigged things and, you know, put whatever work together, which I kind of think is the point of junk bots, to be honest. I've also put the lighting tube, um, so I've tested it with everything. I think he looks the coolest with the light on, um, because the one eye... Uh, so his head kind of turns green. Um, Flapjack, for some reason, is very weird in that he's actually got two light pipings for each side of the alarm clock, which means you'd need two energy packs to really make him light up. But I, I quite like Flapjack. Um, I think he looks pretty cool with the light piping. And it's a really simple thing um, to do. You put one end in there. And the other, you just find the hole at the back. Um, obviously, it's only things with translucent parts that can be lit up. But you kind of get a feel for it. So that's Flapjack. The third one is Surveillance. Uh, my second favourite. So, yet again, there's like the walkie-talkie head, the monitor body, and the legs. Now, I didn't exactly work out the leg pieces either, admittedly. I couldn't work out what that was. Maybe I'd use the pieces for a previous bot before I built him. But surveillance is a little bit of a weird patchwork thing. So, um, on the back, I've put the motor unit. I might as well show you guys that first. Uh, hang on. So... This kind of just turns his head around a little bit. Um, not massively impressed with the motorised function, but I'm sure there are other things. Um, part of me does want to put the motorised one in there so the clock ticks back and forth. I may do that in the future, whatever. But yeah, so surveillance. This was a recommended piece, the kind of jackhammer. The other pieces I just put together myself, so... There's this green half tube thing. It's very weird. And I've kind of put three pieces together here. Uh, and he stands he stands pretty well. Um, you've kind of got to have him at a weird angle, but I don't think that really impacts everything. These are meant to look all junky and off-kilter anyway. Um, so I think this piece actually has light as well. The only downside is I'm pretty sure all of those holes are the light pipe things and two there, which means that if you put a light pipe in, only one of these four screens will turn on, unless you have like four energy packs. If you have four energy packs, I don't know where you'd even put them. But as it is, I, I really like him. Surveillance is like my second favourite one, for sure. Let's put him over there, and working up to my very favourite one is good old Gus. He is a wanted criminal 
So, as I mentioned earlier, I know I wasn't meant to put um, the chainsaw on that guy, but I did, uh, because the chainsaw just goes on the back of Gus, and to be honest, I didn't really see much of a point. I know it's kind of meant to look a bit like a tail or whatever, but that, you know, it's not really necessary. No, I wasn't sure what piece that was either. I may have got that. that actually, you know, that may be part of... Ah, that may be the foot there, or maybe this. Uh, yeah, that looks like it could be a foot. Okay, well, it doesn't really matter, because the whole point of this is you make it your own. So let's have a look at Gus. Uh, he comes with a nice comb moustache kind of thing, and the hat fits on decently well. Jerry rigged his neck thing. Again, I wasn't fully sure. I think this has got, like, two different pieces. Um, his arms, I tried to match just because like well I might as well and there were enough pieces or whatever the left leg I couldn't really find anything so I've got this like weird spanner thing going on and the right I did manage to put the one shoe that came with it uh, and on his back I've got a weird antenna thing uh, you can hang things on there actually I, I didn't really have any pieces to hang on there but that was kind of cool I thought and he's also got a key tar because I imagine Gus is the type of guy that would sit down and play some sweet guitar riffs um, with his robot pals. Now, unfortunately, he does have to kind of stand a bit off kilter or whatever. You know, you can... There we are, look. He's kind of almost on centre. Uh, right, I'm going to go put them back all in frame and then we'll discuss them. So, these are the four junk bots I've built. Now, I forgot to mention as well, there are like smaller parts I've just chucked back in the dumpster and whatever because you, you can customise them and I may, you know, play about with them and change their uh, their setups. But for now, that this is pretty much what I'm most happy with. So, next part is, are they worth it? So, this rung me up £20. Uh, that's about $25 or something. For four figures, that works out about £5 per figure. Now, be honest, I'm genuinely surprised by the size of them because this container, I mean, it's big, but it's not massive. And I was genuinely expecting them to be, well, at that scale, but a full scale, if that makes sense. So th they'd be about that high. Um, but no, honestly, these are like, these are pretty darn good sized figures. The only one thing I will say is if you're thinking of buying these for kids, do be slightly wary because like honestly you do have to be a little bit careful with things because they've got all these connector things and honestly all it needs to do is you to like roughly pull an arm or something and honestly these do feel like they could break. Uh, what I do like though is that they're very creative. Um, I ha I personally had a lot of fun you know and I'm a I'm physically an adult um, I, I had a ton of fun putting everything together and stuff because it's one of those weird things that when you're when you're trying to build something you're like oh that doesn't look right that looks weird that looks off kilter but then you kind of remind yourself that's the point N none of these are meant to look good they're meant to look like junk they they're just meant to look like living pieces of trash and that's I don't know I I really like about it that's kind of what convinced me to buy it in the first place I think. For young kids, I don't think this is great, but for, like, young teenagers and up into adulthood, these are pretty darn cool. I may end up buying a few more of them because I, I just love how quirky they are. They're very reminiscent of Wally, -E in a sense, but not exactly either, if that makes sense. But overall, I, I'm really happy with this purchase. I personally think these are fully worth the money. Um, with 36 to collect, I mean... The only, the only downside of buying a lot of these is you may end up with doubles, but the good side of having lots of doubles is you can have tons of these parts. So, like, I don't know, if you want to give surveillance Gus's head or something, you could, you could have a regular Gus and then, like, a weird Frankenstein monster. I've seen some pictures online of what people have put together, and it's pretty darn cool. Well, that about wraps up my review of Trash Bots. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments if you've bought any of these or if you've been inspired to buy them or whatever. Uh, as always, I'll be making other videos in the future. Do keep an eye out for that. I'll leave a playlist for things at the end of this video. And that's about it. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, good.
Bye.